No, yes, I did, and what a fight it was, correct? Okay? Um, you know, yeah, I, I, I do. I think he did enough to win. Um, but in saying that, if, if they would have awarded it to Kelvin that night, I, I wouldn't have distributed it at all because it was, it was a close fight. You know, I think, I think uh, Israel did just enough at the end in, in round five, you know, the last round, to, to leave a strong impression in the judges' minds. Were you impressed with his performance? Because I know uh, last time we spoke, you said you know you weren't all that impressed with his win over Anderson Silva. This time around, were you more impressed with his performance? Uh, you know, it was, it was definitely a more impressive fight than when he fought uh, Anderson Silva. I, I think this uh, this fight forced him to, to draw a little bit more out of the tank, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more willpower, a bit more heart. Um, you can see in the fight his ups and downs, you know, his trials and obstacles he had to get over, the adversity he had to get through to, to make sure he lasted until the end of the fight. Um, but look, yeah, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought it was an amazing fight from, from both guys. I guess so. I think it was a weird fight for John. So, I don't know. Maybe he's down to his last picogram. He just doesn't have it like he used to. I don't know. Uh, so I, I mean, I think he, I think I think he. <clears throat> I don't know. John didn't really fight fight a fight, so it, it's hard to say. It was pretty much it was a very awkward fight. I couldn't even pay attention. I was uh, I was up. I had, I, we had a box, and I, I literally didn't pay attention at all. It was so boring. I tried. Yeah, so I mean, he's a cunt. First of all, I, you know, my, there's two variables I never expected in this game, and that was to fight Silva and then now to fight John Jones. So I have to adapt to that. And for me, I like the challenge. So he's a cunt, and I say that because he's picking the, the time when I'm supposed to get the most shine to come at me because he's irrelevant. No one really cares about him. I'm everything he wished he was. I'm everything he wished he would have been when he was beat. You know, oh, I want to thank God for, you know, the, meanwhile, he's in the bathroom at whatever time and then fucking hiding under a cage. And you can laugh, Luke. It's all right. <laughs> but um, I, try, I try to keep it. I try know, to keep it professional. That, yeah. But, but hiding under a cage to avoid USADA. I know some things. The streets is talking and everyone knows, you know, what's up behind the scenes. So I'm everything he wished he was. People don't have to like me, but it's hard not to like me. I mean, fuck, I just put on one of the best fights you've ever seen. And I'm a nice guy, you know. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm actually a nice guy. I'm sure to his team and his people, he's actually nice. But yeah, I don't know. The guy, put it this way. If you have, I've said it before. If you had to beat me, you got to do it yesterday. Because, Luke, you know this. Every single fight, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And there's only one reason he called me out. Because I know he's a man of challenges. He likes challenges. I'm no easy fight. But he knows if you want to get me right now, would be the time while I'm still only a year and some change in this game. Imagine what I'm going to be like in two years. Imagine at the rate that I'm fighting. You know, I'm going to take a break now. You don't understand. But imagine how I'm going to be in two years. Imagine eventually... When I go up. So he's trying to get this fight early. So he has a better chance of beating me. But hey, I'm player one. And I have the controller. So that fight will happen. But it will happen on my terms. If he wants to come down to 185. I mean, hey, you know, fucking kill yourself and come down. But I wouldn't advise it. Eventually, either at a catch rate or, or something, I'll go up. But I like the sound of two belts. I like the sound of two belts. But he knows I'm getting better each fight. Every single fight. I mean, look at his fight with Anthony Split Smith. I'll... I expected him to finish Anthony Smith, so I wasn't really all impressed. But Anthony split. I have Biakum, hard of a line as well, pretty tough guy. And yeah, he thinks just because I had a hard time with Gastelum, that, that means that he'll finish me or he'll have an easier time with me. All right, we'll see.